Hello everyone and welcome back to A Country Life. Uh, in case you are new here, my name is Jennifer and I am a homeschooling mom of seven kids. So we have actually graduated two of our children from homeschool high school. One is already a college graduate and one is just nearly, nearly there. So we have been doing this for a long, long time. But with seven kids, we've been teaching reading for uh, many, many years. Some kids have had a much harder time than others learning to read. Uh, and in that quest to find just the right program, I did run across All About Reading. So our youngest three children have all used All About Reading since the very beginning, and our eighth graders started using All About Reading in either third or fourth grade uh, because he was still struggling at that time, and I was looking for something that had a really, really strong phonics base to it rather than more of a whole language type of reading program that I had been trying with him. So I I just want to share with you though some really really big news all about reading has always been um, a black and white program okay the readers have been black and white the workbook has been black and white everything has been done in black and white but they have now just as of mid-january they have revised all of their all about reading levels into a color edition which is really exciting for those of you and for those of us who have kids who seem to respond a little bit more to visual learning i find that the color seems to um capture them a little bit better uh, although i haven't had any problems with the black and white version but it is kind of neat to see the new color version so for any of you who have been around my channel for a while you do know that i have been using all about reading so this is not a new program to me at all uh, but for transparency purposes i do want to say that um, all about learning press did send me this revised level two program and box of materials to show you all how beautiful the new materials are. So let's just take a look here. First off, if you have never ordered anything from All About Reading, this is super fun. If you just put in the little comment box uh, on the order page, or on like the submit order page when you are ordering, and if you write in there that you would like box art and give them an idea of what kind of picture you'd like, their artists right there, uh, I guess in the shipping warehouse, they draw on some kind of thing. And if you guys know all my kids, you know who this is for. This is for Joseph. So let's move on. Everything, oh, including a dart. <laughs> I guess you can tell my kids have been hanging around here. Everything is in here. I'm just going to lift it all out so we can get rid of the papery background noise. So, what is in the box? Let's first just take a look. So there is a page of stickers. The stickers are for marking off the lessons as you complete them. And then there are the readers. They've even uh, updated their paper, whereas the paper in uh, the black and white version of the books is a little bit more of a little bit of a rougher paper and you know it's funny to say this but some kids are really particular about the types of paper that the books are made of and that will either encourage or discourage them from reading a book i do and i have found that my kids enjoy a slipperier a shinier paper i don't know why that is but it's just something tactile so here is the level two so it comes with two readers what am i and queen bee and it goes through all of the little readers we have twist and stomp the grump the bantam spy club and so everything has just been updated and put into color uh, i think you know of course the kids love all the animals at least i know my kids uh, are always partial to the stories that have animals as <laughs> kind of the main characters. One thing that I've always appreciated about the All About Reading is that it is, oops, this is not the book I want, is that it is very scripted. If if you are a parent who feels like your mind is constantly racing and sometimes it's hard when you first sit down for a lesson to kind of center yourself and know exactly what it is that you want to say and accomplish, this has just been a great program because it goes through, I mean, you can you can read this over quickly as you're calling for your child to come sit down. And it just kind of goes through the objective of the lesson. You know, the objective is what 
you want them to gain, what you want them to learn in that lesson. It tells you what things you're going to be needing. Pretty much I keep everything in a tote bag, so I don't typically pay much attention to that because I just know everything's in the tote bag. And then also it gives you a before you begin. It gives some good pointers. Uh, if you are a first time teacher of reading, it gives you great pointers. It just sort of lays it all out. It's almost this before you begin is almost like a little lesson to the parent, uh, just in case you are not you know, a certified reading teacher. This helps you to uh, just kind of get caught up on the basics. So you can see that even the parent version is in full color here, which is, you know, that's pretty nice. It gives you then everything step by step. It tells you what to do. Review the phonogram cards 1 through 32. Then it goes on to review words from level 1 because this is the first lesson. Whenever you see quotes, that's actually telling you, the parent, what to read, what to say uh, in the reading lesson. You know, as you get more fluent yourself in the program, I find that I don't necessarily read this word for word just because I myself am more comfortable. But in the beginning, it's so nice to have it all laid out. There's no confusion. There's no, whoops, I missed a word family or I missed a, a sound or something like that. Everything is just laid out perfectly. So it goes through everything, still reviewing, reviewing the plural words and how to add an S, reviewing vowels in case your child has forgotten that. And so you can see they have the letter tiles even in color. So I'm going to show you my letter board, which is kind of a mess. I should take kind of out. It's really a complete mess. But you can see the red up towards the top. Those are all the vowels. So it all corresponds. The vowels on the letter tile magnets correspond with the color that is in the book. So that is really nice. And it just keeps you start reviewing about syllables. And then there's always a new teaching section. So you go, you first do the review, then the new teaching section. And this is where it teaches something brand new that the child hasn't learned. Today, in this first lesson of level two, they are learning introduce closed and open syllable tags. And they explain it all for you here, so it's very easy to explain to your child. And then also there is an activity sheet. So the activity sheets are found in the student activity book here, Leap Into Reading. So in this as well has been completely updated and revised to be a color version. So we have the anteater. It tells you right here lesson one. So there's no confusion as to what lesson you're gonna be using this in. And it looks like they're going to be, you're gonna be cutting these out. Sometimes I have, I always have my kids cut these out. That gives me a little time to go and switch over a load of wash or something like that. And when they're done, they call me back and then we go to it. This also is for lesson one. This is Party Monsters Go Shopping. So again, a color version. Now this is very, very cute. Kids are gonna love that. Anything that's referenced in the All About Reading Parents Guide or Teacher's Manual is going to be found in the Leap Into Reading activity book, the student activity book. Part of the new teaching is also practicing fluency. Fluency is being able to read words quickly and without sounding them out. One of the things that I've found with the fluency pages is that after my child has worked through reading them, I will give them a highlighter and I will have them find words like, so here's a fluency page. So after my child has read these words, I might say something like, can you find the word sly and highlight it? Or could you find a compound word and highlight it? We, we use these and mark them up and, and everything just to really get the most out of them that we can. Something I would do on this page, I might say, can you put a star or put a check mark next to the question on this page? And they'll go down and look for, and they'll see there's a couple questions on this page. Or I might say, can you find an exclamation point? Circle it, and there's an exclamation point. So I use these fluency pages for more than just fluency. I try to use them as much as I can to get um, as much sort of English style or language arts practice as we possibly can. Then comes the read aloud time. I like this. This is new, I think. I do not recall seeing this in the other books, but up front, I did see a read aloud page and how fun for them to record the date and the book title and the author. Whenever my kids have done something like that, they always love looking back to see the books that they read. Um, we, you know, we always start out strong and then we start forgetting to write them down because when you read as many books, um, 
you know, as a lot of homeschooling families do, sometimes taking time to write them down is cumbersome. But anyway, it still is a fun thing and a nice record to have. And then, of course, once they finish the lesson, then they take a sticker and they put it on the progress. And you'll see here that level two has 57 steps. That is another thing I've always, always loved about All About Reading is that, you know, in our state, we have what's considered 180 days of school. But honestly, who is going to do a full lesson every single day without ever missing for being sick, without ever missing because of a field trip, without ever missing because... You had the perfect weather to get outside and plant a garden or do something like that. And so I love that there's only 57 or thereabouts lessons in the different levels because that way we can progress and get through a level within a school year because this really is about doing a lesson every three to four days, which is actually pretty perfect because sometimes the fluency pages can take a while. Sometimes we will work on a fluency page for three or four days. So just because it says, you know, lesson one, doesn't mean it has to all be done in one day. You just really do as much as your child can handle. And talking about children, my kids are coming in from being on the snowmobile. And, hi. Hi. I'm just filming over here. Each time you order a new level, you get the new, um, whatever the magnets are that you need for that level. Those come with it. And then this here is the student packet. This student packet comes with all of the phonogram sounds, all the phonogram cards here, as well as all of the word cards. They go according to the lesson and they tell you the word card. And these, again, super easy to just punch out. I keep these in a little box um, with dividers so that we can keep track of all of the stuff. And it's always handy. I keep it all in the tote bag. And I think you can order the tote bags right from their website. All right, so I hope that that was a good look for you all into the new color version of All About Reading. And I just want to kind of read something to you here. It does, Maria, sh sh Maria came in and now she's like, ooh, new stuff. So let me just read to you here. So here's a question that some of you might have. It says, I just bought a level of the black and white version. Can I get the color edition in instead? And it says here, yes. Let me turn this so I can see it better. Yes, because of our one year money back guarantee, you can return your black and white version for a full refund, even if it's partially used and order the color edition when it is released, which it already is released. So it looks like that if it's been within a year, you can return. Basically, you're just ex not quite exchanging because there is a little price difference. I think it's about $15. So, but you can return your old edition and you can get the color edition um, if you want to get the latest and the most up-to-date all about reading stuff. All About Learning Press has always been a great company to work with. They have a great blog with so many different reading tips on it and different spelling games. I will put a link to their blog in the description box below. I'll also put a link over to their website where you can purchase materials in case you're looking for a great reading program. Um, I would like to point out that this is the reading program that I use for phonics specifically. And it, when I am doing with my kids, because I do half and half, I, do a, a, I like to do a good solid phonics based program, but I also really find it important to do a sight word reading. I'll also put a link to a couple videos in the description box where I show us using both of those both programs. So we'll be using the All About Reading Level 1 and then I also have a video where we were using the um, Margaret Hiller books. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. I hope that this gave you a little insight into the changes that they made and the really nice color version and everything. It really really is a neat program. Oh yep you can use those. It's really a neat program and it really is uh, a beautiful program with the color pictures. I know that my kids are going to absolutely love this and I'm sure yours will too. So the coolest thing about today's video is that I am giving away a full 
level. So one full level of the color edition is going to be given away to one of you. And all you have to do is be sure that you are subscribed to this channel, A Country Life, and then leave a comment below. The giveaway will end at 11.59 p.m. February 13th, and I will contact the winner on February 14th. So it'll be like a Valentine's Day gift to you and a great fun gift for your brand new readers as well. So if you know somebody who is looking for a reading program, definitely share this video with them so that they can get a good look at the All About Reading Color Edition. So definitely check out the links below if you're interested in finding out more about All About Reading.